Good evening, everyone. An explosion and fire tear through a local business, leaving behind heavy damage and leading to evacuations. Investigators are looking into what sparked this problem before noon at the noon rather at the Bungie North America on East Sharon Road in Evendale. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us live from the scene with where things stand right now, Jeff. Well, I'll tell you where they stand right now. They stand really, really hot. It's hot out here. Now you add all that gear that a firefighter wears, and those firefighters are having to go up. You can see the larger of the two portions of the buildings. That's where the explosions occurred. They have got to go up to the top through these little narrow staircases, a winding staircase pulling fire hose all the way up the top. So you can imagine how difficult this has been. Fortunately, there were no injuries when the explosions occurred earlier. There were no people inside the structure. But, you know, this is not over yet. This is still a very dangerous situation. As firefighters headed in, the command clear you need an additional engine company to bring bottles. Workers evacuated from nearby warehouses and factories headed out. What you hear? A very loud boom in there, man. We was working and uh, that's pretty much what we heard, an explosion. At 11.40 this morning, an explosion and then fire hit the Bungie North America grain elevator across from the Ford plant on Sharon Road. Do you know where the, what part of the building the fire originated? Uh, it's called the Hen House. It is the tall structure connected to the grain elevators themselves. Um, you can see there's significant damage. Most of the windows are gone and most of the doors have been blown out, which they're supposed to do. Everything within one-eighth of a mile of the grain elevator was ordered to be evacuated. Now, we were originally allowed down by, you should be able to see that sign says Cincinnati Freezer. You might be able to see the flashing lights of a police car. That's where we were before, and then they said, no, no, you are too close. You're within the evacuation area, so they moved us down here. Extremely dangerous. Uh, dust, residual dust explosions. Uh, that's why we have so many units on scene. Uh, for us to enter the structure is extremely dangerous at this time. No lightning strike as far as we can tell. Um, it started in the dust collector. We had a, short, a small explosion in the dust collector, which then set off a dust explosion that went up through the hen house. Um, we still have fire in the ninth floor and in the vent stacks through the fifth through the second floor that we are attempting to put out now. So you can see that this has been an all-day process. It's been so hot and so humid that they've actually had to pull the firefighters out just because it was just such a difficult situation. They've been rotating fire crews in and out, and, uh, you know, it, they're still in there. It's still not over. Live in email, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Jeff Hirsch, thanks very much. Bungie makes and exports food ingredients, animal feed, and biofuel products. The company bought the facility, formerly known as Central Soya. You may remember that in 2002.